<laughs> that was too loud. My, <laughs> I forgot to put my clippy clip. Uh, that's okay. <sighs> if you know me, then you know that I make Jingle Bell beggary. Yeah, I've been known to do that. So, I'm going to do a tutorial. Show you how to make your very own and this is what I use. And also, I, don't, I haven't tried this, so I don't know if it's gonna work. I got, I got the little drums. <laughs> so it's, okay, yeah, we're December now, so I think it's fitting to hurry up and make these now. So we have them all month long to play around and jingle around or whatever. I don't know about this one though. I don't know if this is going to work. I have not tried this. <laughs> it looks interesting. Anyway, you're going to need materials. Scissors. Lighter. Fire. Um, okay, yeah, your ornaments. Yeah. So these I got at the Dollar Tree. Another set so you can judge or, uh, <laughs> you need another set so you can get your distance for your length of cord. That's a good uh, trick that I like to use. And you're going to need your cords, yeah? So I got some little skinny ones and I don't know the, I don't know the size of them. They have to be kind of skinny. I'm going to show you why. Okay, so, let's do the bell one first, because I know how to do that one. Okay, so this is like, you see how it's connected? <laughs> okay, let's see. It's connected with a little bitty, a little bitty keychain ring. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. There it is. It's real thin, yeah? I lost it. <laughs> we don't need that. Okay, so here is here's the bell. Do the same with this one. I don't want to lose it. My dog will eat it. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I don't need that. Okay, so here's the other bell. <laughs> These are very jingly, are they? Are they very... Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay, I'm going to position the camera so you people, you fine people, can see what I'm gonna do. Hold on. Okay, um, can you see? Wait. Okay, better, better. Better, better, more gooder. Yes, you can see? Can you see? Okay. I have weights that I'm going to use because these bells have no weights. They have no weight at all. So, these are hex nuts, yeah? And I got different sizes. I got I got smaller ones. I got teeny teeny tiny tiny small ones. Really small. And then I got some monkey bar uh, weights just in case I need them because I, I've never tried it. And then okay and then I got bushings. I got all my my stuff from skateboard uh, material. Like I'm a skateboarder and I have a whole, I have like a whole toolbox full of parts, and that's what these are. These are bushings. 
and they kind of have weight, so that might work if I need that. I don't know what I'm going to do. But first off, you have your bells. Yeah, you have your bells. Bring them on camera. What? Oh, that's some s weird thing. You can add people on here now. It kind of freaked me out. I was, I was reading something. Forgive. Forgive me. Okay, so I'm going to get, first off, let's do it with, with the simple, the simplest of, of toys. Or the simplest of tools. <laughs> I'm going to use this, this hex net, yeah? I'm going to put it in, and this will be my, my test. Does that even work? I need to make a bigger knot for this. Maybe this length isn't long enough. Oh no, so unprepared. Oh. Well then, let's not use this one. Here. I'm going to use, let me try. I might need tape for this. Ah, no, it works. Okay. Put it in there. Put it in there. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Okay, I usually put the weights on the inside, so why did I do it that way? <laughs> okay, so far this is a horrible tutorial. But I'm gonna, oh, I don't know if you can see. I'm putting this inside the bell, yeah? This is my weights are on this side. I don't usually do it this way. I usually put them on the other side, so I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. It was just a test. <laughs> hey Joel, what's up? I'm trying to I'm trying to do a tutorial badly. You like that? You like my bad tutorials? Okay, so you thread your cord inside this bell thing. And it's got it's got that little groove. It's got that little bitty thing notch or whatever. It's easy to, to do. I'd rather put the bell first, so ignore what I just did earlier. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to use a smaller hex nuts because cause it should work. But I just put them in there, didn't I? Come on, get in there. Come on. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so there's one. And the reason I'm using these hex nuts is because, like I said, the bells are super light. You're not going to be able to swing them without some kind of weight. And this may not be a lot. Those are tiny, two tiny little hex nuts on one side. I'm going to put two on the other side. And they're not going to be a lot. But that's pretty decent weight. I mean, it's decent enough to swing it. It depends on... The weight will depend on the size of the hex nut. I just didn't feel like putting really big ones right now because I need a bigger cord for that. Okay, so this now, oh wait, I did it wrong. Now I need to do, yeah, now I need to put the hex nuts <laughs> on the other side first. It doesn't matter which way you put them. You just put them in there. You just put them in there. Put it in the hole. Let me put it this way. Does it matter? Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay. That's how easy this is. Okay, then you, you thread your cord into the bell where the bell has this little big groove and it's not cooperating. Come on. And there it is. And now it's in there. So now... I have to determine my length, okay? So I use my my go by here to see what how long I like it. And I kinda like it about that long. So I'm gonna make a little knot. And I'll probably adjust that later. Let me see. Yeah, maybe I'll make it a little bit longer I like the long game 
This, this cord is a little stretchy. Okay, so this has like a double knot thing. I think one knot will be good. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna mess with that, or should I? Maybe I should, just to be safe. Just to make sure that the knot, sometimes these knots can get stuck. They can like, they can, uh, oh wait, that's the wrong way. Oh, was I gonna say? Sometimes these knots can get a little stuck or want to go inside this, this bell groove, this little bitty notch. So you better make like a, a thicker knot, make like a double knot to avoid that from happening. That's my advice to you. Yeah. So, okay, uh, Ruben, what you doing? Oh wait, now I need to make it a little bit longer. Hold up. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I, sh I should be playing Christmas carols, but I think it's too soon for that. But it's not too soon to show you how to make, how to make this, how to make jingle belly, jingle bell. Okay, um, a little bit longer, and then I'll be okay with it. I'm real picky on my length. I want it to be a certain length. A certain length it has to be. A little off topic. New ages are out for pre-order. Kind of expensive. I... Oops. What did I do? I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to think of something to say, but I don't know what to say because I saw them and I saw how much they're going for. And I think that's I think it's too high. I think it's too expensive for something that was handmade that could have been made in America. It's just my thoughts. All I gotta say. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Okay, so anyway. Um, what is, okay, this, I think that's a good length, I think that's okay, I'll, I'll cut it a little long just in case I want to lengthen that, because sometimes I do want to do that, so when I cut it, and then I do this number, dun 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 dun, fire, 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 yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't. I, I hate to say it, but I'm not a fan of the new line of Astrojacks. I'm reluctant to, to think if I'm even going to get any, honestly. And that's because I used to play Astrojacks all the time. Okay, wait, hold up. Ah. But to, in my opinion, my opinion on the Astrojax thing, uh, yeah, I don't dig it. I don't dig the price. I don't dig the look. <laughs> I think they could have been made of Derlin, actually. And they would have looked better, they would have felt better. I would have wanted to play with them. I don't know if I want to play with them the way they are. <laughs> But I, I'm just not interested in them. I, they're crocheted and I don't know. I just, I was just. Anyway, back to this. Okay, so here is the Jingle Bells, yeah? And you can make it any length of cord. You saw what I did. You saw how I used, I used the hex, wait, I used the hex nuts. Wait, I can't see. The hex nuts, so I got two little ones here. I got two little ones here. And they spin pretty well. They got pretty decent weight. I want to say they weigh similar to a uh, aluminum set. If you like a lighter set, you use a smaller, a smaller hex nut. See how little they are? They come in all sizes, you know. You don't have, when you hear hex nut, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Oh my God, I'm gonna hurt myself, or oh my God, they're gonna be heavy, because it all depends on your size. If you get a tiny little one like this little, 
compared to this one that's bigger, well then you're gonna these are gonna be heavier, you know. That's just no brainer. But yeah, this works. I can do all my little two-handed stuff and it has a little jingle belly. Jingle bell. Okay, now I don't even know how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. This is gonna be a little drummer, little drummer ones. Let's see how they, I've never even. I just saw them and said, "Wow, these would be cool." Now these are paper, paper, paper. But you can tell this is just not sturdy. <laughs> Maybe this won't work, but they'll be nice for display. Oh, and I see how it's tied up. It's tied on a corner of the drum. Look at that. With a little bitty string. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this. I'm a believer. I believe in things. I believe in Santa. I believe he's going to give me something good this year. <laughs> I know that. that. I have been naughty and I have been nice. Okay. Uh, which colors do I like? Look at how they shine, though. Look at, oh, wait, you can't see that. Look at, look at. Wait. Oops. Wait, is this red? Yeah, it is. Red. Is it, is it shiny at all? Can you see that on the thing? It's weird how it's strung together. These are uh, little bitty plastic pieces, so this is completely novelty. Okay, what, what I'm gonna do right now is for fun only. Okay, like don't even think it's serious. I just thought this would be a cute uh, idea. It may not be the best idea. <laughs> but okay, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go for silver and gold. Silver and gold. I'm gonna go for silver and gold and see what happens with that because I don't even know if this is gonna if this is gonna work. We're gonna experiment. Okay? And you and you are with me. You are with me on this. But I'm kind of undecided on how I'm gonna string this together because that's why I was thinking maybe a bushing on top and that'll take away the, the look of the drum and I don't wanna do that. Maybe Somehow I put a hex nut on the side. Let's see, this might be too heavy though. Might look a little strange. Maybe a smaller one, which is why I have smaller ones. So, oops, how am I gonna put that in there? <laughs> I did not plan this. But I hardly ever plan anything, so I'm not surprised. I just do stuff. Okay, wait. Um, we gotta bend this a little bit. And then, and then stick it in the hole. There we go. Okay, so there's one. And there's one little, okay, can you see? There's one little hex nut. Maybe it should go the other way. Let's put it the other way, shall we? <laughs> shall we? I'm early. Nobody's watching. Well, oh, that's not exactly true. Joel is here. Okay, there you go. So I have one on one side and uh, this is a different color, but I don't care. I'm gonna put this on on this side. Uh, how do I do that without this? Oh, there it is again. He. <laughs> Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Don't give me no sass. There you go. Okay, so here's the other hex nut. And the only reason I'm putting them in there is because those are too damn light. I might be able to do anything with these. And they're pointy. I mean, if you look at them, this is going to be really uncomfortable. <laughs> so I, I just thought I'd do it for fun. Okay, so I got, I got these two. Two little baby hex nuts on these two little baby drums, which are ornaments, and you can find them at any Dollar Tree, like I did. Merry Merry Christmas, yeah. Only a dollar. I did not spend a lot on this. Just if you if you were wondering.
Okay, now I'm gonna use a string. Maybe a festive color. Yeah. But this one looks longer to me. Like I'm thinking it's not gonna be long enough. I'm thinking aloud. I'm thinking to myself. And I do that sometimes. Let me see. I guess in this case, I should string. I should string the. Uh, how am I gonna keep this in place? There's one little. There's one. <laughs> there's one tiny little knot here. And it's probably in the wrong spot. It should be further down. But no, maybe not, because it'll go through. Okay, okay. Bear with me. I'm, I'm like brainstorming. I'm going to put the cord in the loop on the ornament string because I feel like it. I'm going to make it a little bit longer, but that works for me because this, this cord's a little too short for me. So I will do this. I will do a knot, if I can do the knot one way, and then do the lock of the knot, if you know how to do that. It's like a little figure eight type thing. Now, every time I try to explain it, I do it wrong. <laughs> That's not how you do the knot, okay. You get, it's like Jaws. Have you seen the movie Jaws? Have you seen the movie Jaws? Hey, Chris. In Jaws, they're like, you go into the hole, he swims out of the hole. And he was teaching uh, Brody how to tie a knot. And I was trying to pay attention. Every time I see that movie, I try to pay attention to how he's explaining it. But then I never, I never really get there. I got it. Okay, so there it is. So this is a little lock knot, I guess is what you call it. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not up on terms terminology I'm like all the time wrong I say things and it's always not the proper whatever <laughs> okay so this is not where I want it I'm gonna make it a little bit longer like, like this okay that'll work that's, okay that's good <clears throat> okay, so, oh, so there's there's the camera. So I made a knot at the end, and this looks a little fuzzy because it's you know sticking out right now. But I'm probably gonna trim this. Yeah, I'm gonna trim this. Why not? I got scissors. I got scissors and nothing but time. Okay, so there's one side. Okay, so now. And this is interesting because as you can see, this, this adds a little length to my cord, which is, I've never done one of these before. So I'm finding that to be in my advantage since I like longer cord. I was afraid I didn't have enough length on this cord because it was a little bit short. So that's a good thing. Okay, uh, what happens when this happens? I get it in a knot. And then I go, which way do I go? I go this, this way, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bear with me on these knots. I'm not the best to explain them because when I, when I try to explain them, then I do them wrong. So I'm just gonna try to do them and not, not talk about it. Ah, there it is, I think. Is that it? That would look right. Last thing I want is for these little drums to fly. But I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to. Let's see, how long is it? Oh wow, this is really long. Maybe I can make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, I don't think I did this knot right anyway. Let me redo it. I shouldn't have polished my nails right before I started doing this because I'm, I'm still tacky and I'm messing up my polish badly, so. <laughs> Not the best idea, Claudia.
What do they call that when they sing and it sounds like Mickey Mouse? They call that nightcore? Is that what that is? I hate that. I hate that style of vocals. I'm not a nightcore person. Yeah, that's good. Oh wow, it works! Look at that! Oh, how cool! How cool is that? There's my little, um, damn it. There's my little drums. I'm going to cut this down. Yeah. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, baby, burn. And then I'm going to trim these little silvery long strings. Like that. So it looks more clean. And there is my little drummer, little drummer boy, Begley. Perfect for the season, for the holiday season. Yeah. And then, of course, I got my, my bells. So you got your bells, you got your little drummer. Don't, I would not sling these with the intent of doing like serious tricks. This is just novelty effect. Of course you can do tricks, but you know, it, they're kind of delicate. I don't see them lasting very long. If they fall, they're probably gonna break. <laughs> That's just my opinion because it's, they're just little rinky tinky ornaments, but they're cute, and you can string them together, hang them on the tree, and then when you're when you're putting you know presents under the tree, you, you can take them off and just start to sing with them like you would normally do. And it, they're not terribly bad. So yeah, that is my little drummer. Little drummer ornament, little drummer boy ornament, beggary. And no one's watching. Let me see. No one is live. Everybody is asleep. Everybody's doing their own thing on Saturday. That's cool. That's what I should be doing. Okay, so all these things I will just put over here to the side. And I'll do some freestyle. If I still have time, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of time. I have not been doing that. <sighs> so shame, shame, shame on me for not doing that. <laughs> yeah, wait. I usually use a little fish eye. Okay, wait a minute, where is it? Because it gets more in the frame. But that might work, that might be good. Okay, so by the way, these right here are my copper enants. And they got, I'm rocking the mini, mini hydras inside on both sides. I got two on both sides. These are probably the heaviest set I have so far. And I wanna say, I want to say that they're like maybe 36 grams or something like that. Like I'm not sure how much they weigh because I don't remember. <laughs> but I want to give a shout out to Erica because she gave me this cord. She gave me like a whole uh, bag of cords. I don't know if you saw my unboxing of her swag that she sent to me. And that was pretty cool. And this is 550. And I felt like putting 550 on the E-man. Now that it was kind of tricky to do, I had to burn the ends. Yeah, these are heavy. I'm a heavy metal girl. But I can, I'm versatile. I mean, I can use, I can use heavy metal. I can use uh, these ones that I just made. I want to say these weigh close to nothing because it's only one little itty bitty hex nut on each side for weights. These are super light. These remind me of the hollow wooden balls. I think that I think they're hollow because they're not very heavy at all. That I got on a giveaway that Weston was doing on Instagram, and it had his wood burn uh, 
designs on them. Those are light. These remind me of those because they're just so damn light. But I can I can sling them. So it's no big deal. I can sling them and then I can get myself a really, really heavy one. And I can sling that too. Yeah. Oh, and here is my jingle bell. My jingle bell rock. I make them work. I can I can swing them. And they're fun. They make noise. And they're only as heavy as same same deal. They're only as heavy as how many hex nuts or how big that you put on each side for added weight. But these are fun. I can do, you know, all my goofy stuff with them, so Perfect for the holiday season. Perfect for the holiday fun times. Merry, merry, merry on your way. On your way, drummer boy. <laughs> oh, am I at 30 now? Okay. These are interesting. Did you see what I did? I made little, um, what's up, Erica? I forgot to tell you hello. And I was shouting you out for your awesome chords that you sent me. And this is your 550 that you sent me. And I used tape method to get it in there, by the way. And it was very interesting because this is not 550 ready. This is 275. And so it was uh, it was interesting. Look, I got I got my little um my little my little Christmas tree. Tis the season, as they say. Look at that. <laughs> What's up, Holly? Yes, Erica, my buddy. So I I made these. They're just too light for me, but you know I can still sling them. I might put like a heavier or bigger hex nets on the ends. But yeah, for those of you that watched, or for those of you that missed what how I did this, <laughs> then you know just watch the video again, and then you can see all my secrets of how I did this. <laughs> and these are these are adorable. These are cute. They're little drummer boy uh, little drums for your Christmas tree. And of course, you know, they come in other colors. They come in red, they come in blue. You have yourself like a, <laughs> a local dollar or 99 cent store, discount store, and they sell these for, what is the proper term? For a U.S. dollar to a British, Holly. Oh, you're oh, okay. Well, you're busy. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I think is it a quid or is it like a shilling, or is that what you call it? Is it a shilling store? <laughs> I don't know my proper terminology of, of a pound, the pound store. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to say shilling. I don't know why, and I don't say it right either. I, don't, I think I say chilling when it's supposed to be shilling, and I say shilling with a c with an s h instead of chilling because I'm I'm uh, Hispanic, so I get my s s s h and c h is mixed up all the time. I'll say cheese instead of cheese, <laughs> and I don't know why I don't speak Spanish very well. <laughs> It's just a, it's just a thing. But let me see. Uh, here's my little jingle bells for my last time, because I ran out of time. I recommend doing the jingle bells. If you're gonna make, if you're gonna do these, they're only just for fun. Like, don't even expect that you're gonna, that they're gonna last you very long. You're probably gonna break. It's just a little novelty thing. I thought it was cute. Oh, the pound store or the 99p. P is P for pence? Is P for what does the P stand for? Is it uh, it's not a penny, right? Because y'all don't have penny. Y'all have pence. I don't know. Why am I asking? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I kind of knew. I used to watch Deal or No Deal, the British version. 
So I kind of got used to the terminology of how they said their, their money currency, you know? And they were like a, a quid, and I still don't understand it. But I got used to hearing it all the time. Like, I know what it sounds like. I lost my, I lost my um, warning. These things come apart. <laughs> so be, make sure your knot is, is firmly knotted before you go and put another, another, uh, did I lose my thing? Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> so this was almost a fail. I got it to work for a little while, but I, I was wondering how these were gonna be. I say if you're gonna make ornaments, just stick to the bells. Bells are best. Easier, more reliable, you're not gonna lose your, your, uh, your drum. <laughs> but yeah anyway that was what I was gonna do today it was gonna be a tutorial uh, not so much I didn't have time to really freestyle <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed it I went over my time I'm going to sign off and let the next person stream I think I'm the first one to stream today so keep watching if you're streaming, stream. I will try to see you. If I miss you, I will watch you later. And have fun. Have a good weekend. Have a good Saturday.